What is going on you guys? Zach here and in this video I'm going to be talking about my updated progress on the triathlon as well as a couple other things that are currently going on with that. Here on this channel we talk about personal development, fitness, spirituality, business, investing. If you're interested in any of those be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and as a reward here is a video of the soccer goat getting up. Before we kick it off, I know these videos are titled, I enjoy torturing myself. So here's one other thing I did a couple of days ago that really got me outside of my comfort zone. Roll it. honest I was shaking for a solid four or five hours after the fact I enjoy putting myself through this stuff I enjoy the quote-unquote pain of it but I was shook I uh, I was scared a hundred percent I was a little disappointed in my natural reaction to it but now that I've done it and I feel a little intimidated by it I'm gonna do it again but I want to do it in a different place like Hawaii or Dubai something with a really cool scenery so that when I'm falling, I at least have a, a pretty crazy view. Hi, friend. Zach, welcome back to Earth. You made it. So currently with the triathlon, I am currently in week three of the training. Uh, technically, it would be week four, but I did week two twice because I scheduled out my overall time until the race, and I had mapped it out originally incorrectly. So I had to do week two again just to make sure that the final week was the week leading up to that triathlon. So currently in week three. So here's week three of the triathlon. So as you can see, Monday it has a day off. Tuesday it's a swim, uh, eight times 75 meters. So I currently go to Lifetime Fitness and they have a 25 meter lap pool. So that would be me doing up, down, up uh, eight times. And that might not seem crazy, but it's a lot harder than it sounds. And then as you can see with the 40 seconds after, that means a 40 second break in between each rep. Running for 20 minutes, zone one means light running, low heart rate. Uh, zone two is a little bit higher than that. It goes up to zone five uh, for reference. And then biking is about a 55 minute bike on flat terrain between 85 to 95 cadence. In terms of how each individual event is going, let me start out with swimming because that is actually the first event in the race. So swimming is by far the toughest. Uh, it's going pretty well. I hesitate a little bit because I know I have a long way to go, but at the same time, I'm happy with the progress I've made. I'm trying to refine my swimming technique because I don't want to waste any excess energy. Like if I'm turning my head too fast, trying to get uh, air, uh, I don't want to drown, but I also don't want to waste excess energy. But overall, Swimming is going relatively well. I would say I'm definitely on pace to complete the swimming portion of this triathlon. Next, we get into the bike. Still haven't bought a bike yet. I need to do that. I've just been biking at the gym. But the biking is going really well. I have no problem with the bike. Uh, yesterday, I hopped on the bike for 55 minutes after lifting. It's not super, super tough. I mean, I usually just sit on the bike, watch a video, read a book uh, for 55 minutes and I hydrate throughout the process of it. I do it at a low resistance and a higher cadence between that 85 and 95 uh, RPMs. And then with the run, this is going really well. So the run is a 5K or 3.2 miles. I think it's 3.2, 3.1, 3.2. .2. Uh, so I'm having no problem with that. I've ran three miles straight a couple of times, but right now I'm currently in the range of about 2.2 to 2.6 miles in about the 20 minutes that I'm currently allotted. So it's going pretty well. I find I run a lot better on flat earth rather than a treadmill. I'm not sure if it's a mental thing, but I definitely prefer to run just outside rather than in the gym on a treadmill. 
My diet has been pretty consistent. I'm doing a protein scoop before and after every workout. It's a plant-based protein. Uh, I'll link it in the description. I'm really liking it so far. And I'm not a nutritionist. Don't sue me. And in terms of the metrics that I'm keeping track of, such as my resting heart rate and my body fat percentage, here are the videos for that. Looking at 10.7. Current resting heart rate is 50 beats per minute. I try to take those in the morning because apparently your body fat percentage is most accurate when you first wake up and you have not had anything to eat or drink. My resting heart rate does fluctuate a little bit. For example, when I'm meditating, like deep into meditation, it could be a lot lower than I guess my average, but I'm just giving you guys my average because I feel like it's a good benchmark to keep track of. And I know initially in the first episode, I said this would be a four part series. I'm actually going to be breaking it up a little bit more, maybe like six or seven episodes. Um, I like keeping track of it on this video. Just look out for that. Probably six or seven episodes in total. I'm also doing something I like to call 66 hard. Consider that a placeholder for what the challenge is actually about. But here's a picture of the habits that are a part of this challenge that I'm doing on a daily basis. Day one, completed everything. Day two, completed everything except for the 4.30 a.m. And this morning, I did not complete the 4.30 a.m. either. I slept until six and I'm frustrated about that as you can see, but at the same time, it's not worth throwing away a whole day. I'm still being productive, still getting my stuff done. But I had that moment of hesitation when your alarm clock goes off and you're like, ah, oh, five more minutes. And when you hit that pillow again, a lot of times it's not five more minutes. For me, it was an hour and a half. So in that moment, I just gotta turn my brain off, be disciplined and do what I have to do, which is in this case, get out of bed. Um, so it's not going to happen again. So 66 hard is 66 days straight of me doing these daily habits. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. But that is it for this episode. If you guys have any questions or comments or things that I should look out for, you know, heading into this triathlon preparation, let me know in the comments. If you got any value from this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.